Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again this week. Okay, so I'm um, just like to say it's good to see all those smiling faces out there. Um, I'm glad you just all have a smile on your dial. Okay, the weapon of choice for this video is the new iPhone 8 Plus. I'm recording with the ProCam camera app. And I'm editing with the Video Leap, which is a new editing software I'm using for this week. I'm sorry if you can hear that traffic noise. <laughs> it gets a bit loud here. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys this week on Friday. Yes, on Friday we have Australia Day. I am an Australian, so happy Australia Day to all the Australians out there. Hope everyone's 2018 has kicked off to a good start. Halfway through January now. Um, I know 2018 is going to be a good year. I can feel it in the water. Okay guys, let's get into the video and run the intro. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I was going to take the Osmo Mobile out today and give it a bit of a run for this vlog and do some B-roll on that, but I've got a spur in my foot at the moment, so it's in a bit of pain and walking long distance doesn't seem to be a good idea at the moment. So considering, considering Australia Day is on Friday, I thought I'd do an Australian Day special and maybe just talk about what it is and what it means to Australians. So um, yeah, the Australia Day is an official national holiday of Australia, um, celebrating annually on the 26th of January every year. Um, it marks the anniversary of the 1788 arrival of the first fleet of the British ships at Port Jackson in New South Wales and the raising of the flag or rising raising of the flag of Great Britain at Sydney Cove by Governor Arthur Phillip. Okay also why do people celebrate Australia Day? Uh, from 1946 January the 26th was called Australia Day in all states and territories uh, and since 1994 the Australian Day public holiday has been on January the 26th throughout the country because it marks a day of colonisation. Aboriginal Australians often feel that the celebration on Australia Day excludes them. But they're all Australians just like the rest of us. We're completely multicultural. From Indians to the Asians, even the New Zealanders. <laughs> Yeah, so Australia Day we have lots of ceremonies um, that have like the ceremony of cracking a beer open and drinking it on Australia Day is uh, a wide tradition and um, a long tradition and it's widely done throughout the country. They also have the citizenship ceremony on Australia Day where all new Australian citizens that have applied for a, a citizenship permit get their um, Australia permit citizenship to live and work in Australia just want to run over I've just found something that I thought was pretty interesting and that's the affirmation what um, new Australian citizens the affirmation that they have um, as an Australian citizen I affirm their loyalty I affirm my loyalty to Australia and its people whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and, who, and whose laws I uphold and obey. Okay guys, I've also got a new segment um, that I'd like to add to my vlogs. I'm not going to do it every vlog, maybe I will, I don't know. But I'm going to call it One Moment Please, or I just have a little rant or uh, update you on something personal or um, 
talk about something that's on my mind. Yeah, so that's just a little segment I thought I'd add to the vlogs. And here's the first one. Um, one moment please. I've come to the conclusion that people that you think you know the way they're going to react don't always react the way that you think they're going to react. Um, you can work and live with someone for years and years and even though you go to do something and you think you know that their reaction is going to be, that's not always the case. So always plan what you're going to do and what you're going to say to people. Especially people that are spontaneity, they tend to react to things differently. Yeah, so guys, I've got a poem here that's one of my favourite. And I've known this poem or heard this poem many times throughout my life. And I thought I would like to, um, I hope I'm not cutting the top of my head off here. I thought I'd like to read it out to you guys and share it with you. I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of rugged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jeweled seas, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. That's by Dorothea McKellar, my country. So guys, that's all I've got for you today. Um, like I said, I've got a spur in my foot at the moment. It's, it's at the peak of where it's really sore. I find it hard to um, get around. So yeah, hopefully by next week I'll be able to give you a bit more. Um, so I just, all my information is down the information card below on my social media and everything like that. Someone's honking. Uh, also, yeah, attitude of gratitude, guys. Um, share this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and um, I will see you next week. Bye.